hey, I just give you guys a, a bunch of verses about, you know, believing, right? Believing on Christ. And so I'm just going to point this out before a bunch of people just start trolling my channel and pulling out this verse here in James. This is James 2.19. It says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Okay, And a lot of times they'll just take the, the last part of, of, of the verse and quote that. But look, the devils are not trusting in Jesus Christ for their salvation. Okay? The devils know that there's one God, okay? And that's, you know, the God of the Bible, right? The triune God, God in three persons. You know, check out 1 John 5, 7 uh, for a great teaching on the Trinity. But look, they know, like, look, j just because you know there's a God, does it make you saved? What makes you saved is that you're trusting in Jesus Christ, death, burial, and resurrection to save you. Okay? You what makes you saved is you believing the gospel. And nowhere does the Bible teach that Jesus Christ died for devils, okay? He tasted death for every man. He died for human beings. And... You know, people want to pull out a verse like this in James 2. I don't even think they've read all of James 2, honestly. Because here, here's James 2.10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. Now, you know, that verse really messes up your pride. That's a pretty hard saying. And if we keep reading, it says, For he that said, Do not commit adultery, also said, Do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. And of course, there were other laws besides not committing adultery and not, not murdering. It's making a point here that just because you don't do one thing, yet you do another thing that's sinful, that doesn't make you innocent. It actually makes you guilty, okay? For the wages of sin is death. Okay, you cannot pay off that wage. I mean, you you know you, you cannot pay off that 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 bill. You you cannot pay off your sin debt. That's why Jesus Christ had to come, and, and, and pay off your debt. And you know the, they'll say stuff like this too. They'll quote this out of context. Even so, faith if it hath not works is dead, being alone. But the context is. You know, your testimony is going to suck if, if you don't help people. I mean, it's talking about right here. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Meaning, you know, if, if you're, if somebody's starving, okay, you don't give them food, but you just say, hey, God bless you, brother. What good does that do for that person? Okay. It's the same thing if, you know, you're driving down the road and you, and you see, like, a brother with a flat tire. And you just, like, roll down your window. And, you know, you're like, well, God bless you, brother. And then you just drive off. And, like, you know, you know that you could help him out. You have, a, like, a three ace card or something. Or you have, like, a, you know, way to fix it. Or, you know, or you have, like, an extra tire or whatever. But you don't have, like, you know, you telling him, God bless you. And you, you act like, that, that doesn't profit the, the person. It doesn't mean you're not saved. Okay? Jesus Christ paid for all your sins on the cross was buried and rose again on the third day. If you believe that, you're saved. Okay? You know, James chapter 2, the part that they miss, you know, quote out of context and stuff, it has to do with being justified in the eyes of men. Okay? But God, God sees our heart. He sees the invisible. 
to be justified in the eyes of God, we have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for our salvation. And look, men think that Abraham was super godly because he offered Isaac up on the altar, okay? But Abraham was long saved before that. Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness, okay? But if you're dumb enough to think that Abraham got saved by offering up his son on the altar, then I guess you'd have to offer up your son on the altar too. But, you know, they haven't thought that through, have they? And right... Look, Abraham believed God and it was imputed unto him. That's even in James. Okay? And look. Please read your Bibles. Okay? James 2 is obviously talking about how you treat other people. And, you know. How they see how you treat, how other people see how you treat other people, um, and how you're justified in the eyes of men. This has nothing to do with you being saved, okay? Compare James 2 to Romans chapter 4. Maybe just memorize James 2.10 as well. But compare James 2 to Romans chapter 4. Here's Romans 4.3. For what saith the scripture, Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. That's quoting Genesis 15.6. And just up from that, it said, For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. For what saith the scripture, Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. What was counted unto him for righteousness? His faith in God, okay? Not um, his works. Now to him that worketh is the reward reckoned of... Uh, is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. If you're trying to work your way to heaven, you have a debt, okay? You have a sin debt. But to... Him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. And it's Jesus Christ that justifies the ungodly. And look, if you can look at Romans chapter 4 and just deny plainly what it says, you don't believe the Bible.